fed up. That's how some voters in Leon Valley say they are feeling tonight. Yeah, political fallout from the removal of a Leon Valley councilman continues in that city. Today, a group of citizens presented more than 1,500 signatures to the city secretary pushing for the recall of two more members of the city council. The night team's Patty Santos was there and tells us the push raises ethics concerns. We have these um, uh, petitions. So right. A group of five Leon Valley citizens led a charge that could bring a political upheaval in that city come May of next year. Very fed up. Yes, totally. that we were all willing to go out and get signatures. The group presented more than 1,500 signatures from Leon Valley residents asking for the removal of Councilwomen Monica Alcacer and Donna Charles. The list of grievances includes what they say is over policing, a city that's run by the city manager, not citizens, plus other changes they don't like. But at the root was the removal of former Councilman Benny Martinez this summer. They don't necessarily take into account what the people want, they only take into account what them themselves want. Some of those pushing for the recall include Martinez, other former council members, current city board members, and Mayor Chris Riley. In a statement, Donna Charles says the recall began because Mayor Riley and a group of her supporters did not like the outcome of the 312 hearing against her political ally. Councilwoman Monica Alcacer's statement says she stands by her decision to remove Martinez after hearing the evidence against him. Quote, this is an oath we took and I'm proud to say that several of us upheld this oath. We feel that they are going to target the mayor next and another city council member to get them out of office. The mayor who showed up with a group did not want to go on camera but in a statement said why she did not support the removal of Martinez. Quote, it's important to our city's future that a miscarriage of justice like what happened to Martinez not be allowed to stand. This is a citizen's right to be able to do this recall. Meanwhile, the political tension is taking a toll on those at City Hall. The staff knows that the mayor is supporting this recall, uh, she and one other counselor, um, and yes, it makes the staff very uncomfortable. Um, they just want to come to work and do their jobs. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. The city has 45 days to certify the legitimacy of the signatures before moving forward with a special meeting and recall election in five months.